ma'am. Howdy. Are we there yet, Freddy? Almost. Sure is nice of your cousin Calico to teach us all about raising hogfish. She'll be glad for the help. It's hard to run a big ranch all by yourself. Will we get to wear 10-gallon hats? I think a 5-gallon hat is more your size. Come on, let's go! I'm at least 7 gallons ready. 6 and a half minimum. Calico? Oh, hello, Freddy. Howdy, Luther. We're ready to help out. Which way to the hogfish? Well, it seems we got a little problem there. See, my prize-winning hogfish herd is being rustled. Rustled? What does that mean? Somebody came and took them without asking. That's not right. No, it's not. And a hogfish requires proper care. I think they might be in real trouble. I just don't know what to do. Did you call the police? I think the sheriff's gone out of town. And I need to stay here at the ranch in case the hogfish get away and come home. Not to mention all the worrying I have to do. We'll help you, Cousin Calico. Luther and I will find the hogfish and catch those rustlers. Yeah! Thank you both. You'll be doing me a real good turn. who took your hogfish, Cousin Calico? No, but you might ask some of the folks in town. Maybe they saw something. Pro 
purple sea urchin. We're rich! if they know anything about those rustlers. I think it is. It think. Oh. Hi, I'm Freddy Fish, and this is my best friend Luther. I'm Perry. down at the soda loon talking about educating the masses. Is that suspicious? Are you sure you don't know anything about the wrestlers? Now, it seems to me that they're used a club which had meetings in the soda loom from time to time. Might check there. It's a nice kind of operator of the soda loon. What can I do for you? One tumbleweed soda, please. Coming right up. Oops. Um, thanks anyway. Sorry about the mess. That's okay. Happens all the time. I should probably stop serving drinks that way. It's just too much fun. suspicious characters in here yesterday. They might have been rustlers. They sat at that table right over there. Oh, boy! Maybe they left a clue. Thank you. Look, Freddy. Maybe this is a clue. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Mem 
memorize the combination and then eat this note. Two, one, three. I'll bet the rustlers left this. I wonder why they didn't eat the note like it says. It probably tastes like paper. We'll hang on to it. That combination must be important. saw some suspicious looking types in here yesterday. Did you see anything? We think they might have been rustlers. Rustlers? No, I wouldn't know a thing about that. I know the piano, and it knows me, but that's about it. Sorry. I can't help you out. That's okay. Thanks anyway. me. Listen, I want to talk to you about that note.
Gale Rider. I'm looking for Finn Eastwood. You feel guppy? Well, do ya? Come on, let's check out that hatch. Okay. Meet at the Rusty Rustler at high tide. Memorize the combination and then eat this note. Two, one, three. This shouldn't be too hard. We just have to punch in the combination. One. One. Two. Three. One. Two. We did it! It's open! Boy, I'll say! I guess the lock was the only thing holding the door on. Tom Sarnett, what's that racket? Someone's coming! Hurry! Aw, oh, fiddlesticks! The door came off again. Well, I guess I'll just have to sit here and stand guard. I wonder if they still called it standing guard if you're sitting down. It's rustlers only in the hideout. Oops, I didn't think I was supposed to say it was a hideout. We might be rustlers. How do you know we're not rustlers? That's easy. You're not dressed like rustlers. If you were a rustler, you'd have a 10-gallon hat like mine. A belt buckle like mine. And a fashionable bandana. All rustlers dress exactly alike? Yep, we all wear the latest rustler gear. You can see from this picture in Rustlemania magazine. Hmm, a purple 10 gallon hat, a big old belt buckle with an S on it, and a bandana. Since you're not wearing these things, you must not be rustlers since you can't come in. Cause this hideout is for rustlers only. Okay, thank you. This is the rustler hideout, all right. I'm sure the hogfish are inside. What are we going to do? We've got to get some new clothes. Mr. Big! 
Did you hear something? It was probably just the current. I guess. You two look like you've got trouble. <laughs> you could say that again. We made this floor for the big square dance tomorrow. Only we found out it has to be, well, square. And we are out of wood. We need some more to start over. A piece about six feet by six feet ought to do it. How big a piece of wood did they say they needed for this? Six feet by six feet. Oh, yeah. Whatever you're cooking smells good. It's a Harris Slam special super stew. My own recipe. Oh. Not quite ready. Keep them on ice until I get back. Stop. Sign it. You know who. And deliver it right away. It's urgent. All right. Perfect. Thanks a lot. We owe you one. You're welcome. Are you thinking what I'm thinking? Coffee break? Exactly. Now that your floor is finished, do you think we can borrow your screwdriver for a while? Sure. In fact, you can keep it. Consider it payment for a job well done. Gee, thanks.
Good evening, ma'am. Sir, allow me to introduce myself. My name is Gil Barker, and I represent the Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut Company, third largest distributor of bubble gum and wheel nuts in the Upper Western Hemisphere. I'm Freddie Fish, and this is my pal Luther. My employers have authorized me to clear out my inventory to make room for next year's models. Everything must go. Therefore, I, Gil Barker, will be offering you prices so outrageously low that you'll have to bend over to see them. Great. We're clearing out the bubble gum today at the low, low price of two purple sea urchins per pack. I see you're looking at the gum. You have a good eye, little lady. That happens to be super rubber bubble bubble gum, the best, chewiest bubble gum available without a prescription. Oh, that's the last pack available. All the rest is, uh, reserved. I'll let you have it in exchange for just two purple sea urchins. We'd like to buy your pack of bubble gum, please. Excellent, excellent. Super Rubber Bubble is the most durable gum on the market. You won't be disappointed. Now, the gum is two purple sea urchins. So you can give me the second one right away. Or, if you like, I can start a gum layaway plan for you. And I'll give you the gum when you pay me the balance. That's fair. Here's the other purple sea urchin for the pack of gum. Splendid, splendid. Here you go. It's my last pack. Maybe even the last pack in the entire hemisphere. You've made a wise purchase. Thank you. No refunds. Reminder to Gil Barker. You owe Shady Shark 20 clams. Pay up pronto. What's this? Oh, that's, uh, that's nothing. It's a poem I was writing. That's an awfully strange poem. No. 
know we can do this. Kind of deflated. Oh. Try some of that gum we bought. Wah! Ew! I'm not sure this is even gum! It tastes like rubber! Ouch! Ouch. We'll have to sneak... I wonder where all the peanut butter fish are today. Peanut butter fish? Just kidding! Do jellyfish have eyes? I don't think so. Ouch! There must be a way to get by. Ouch! I know we can do this. Look nice. Hmm. A purple ten gallon hat. A big old belt buckle with an S on it. And a bandana. We don't have any of those things. We'd better get cracking. What's it doing here all by itself? Shouldn't it be attached to something? Yeah, I doubt it belongs in this cave. I wonder how it got in here anyway. Good question. Look, Freddy! A purple sea urchin!
There's a handle missing from this crank. There! It fits perfectly! Now we've got a handle on that tail. <laughs> you eat cake? Here, try it. But it's chocolate. Yeah. 
It's cayenne. Cayenne? Um, cayenne is kind of hot. Looks okay. Purple and pokey. Pink, is it on me? No, silly. It's a purple sea urchin over there. Oh. I wasn't afraid. Go, Sonic. Make up your mind. I think that did something. Somewhere I can smell it. But 
You there! No loitering! <clears throat> uh, Freddy! What? Oh! I'm sorry, Luther. <laughs> wow! That's amazing! I was in Fish Scouts, too. in handy. That's not gonna do me a kelp root and tumbleweed branches, plus a few secret ingredients. There's three cups of paprika. Isn't that kind of a lot? Not for super stew. Here, this suitcase looks a lot sturdier than that bandana.
falling off. Maybe we can fix it. The wheel looks like it just needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. There should be a nut in the middle of the wheel to hold it onto the wagon. We'd like to buy one of your wheel nuts, please. Certainly! Now, the nuts cost three purple sea urchins, so I'll start you on one of our nut layaway plans. And you can have your nut when you've paid me the other two purple sea urchins. And may I say that a fickle bit wheel nut is really an excellent investment. Here's another purple theurgeon towards our wheel nut. Very good. Let's see. That leaves only one more purple theurgeon before the fabulous fickle pit wheel nut is all yours. Here's the last purple theurgeon for our wheel nut. Can we have it now? Of course. You can select any shape you like. And if it doesn't work out for you, you can bring it back and exchange it for a different one. We here at Biloxi Premium Gum and Wheel Nut believe that customer service is our primary business. This one looks good. Thank you. No, thank you. Can we buy another Wheel Nut? We don't need another Wheel Nut. Sir, may I interest you in? You got the 20 clams you owe me, Gil? Uh, not exactly. How much is not exactly? I've got a few purple sea urchins. You know, my dogfish needs an operation. Don't worry. I've got a really big deal about to go down. Yeah? What is it? All I can say is, it's really big! I'll have your clams in a couple of days. Well, okay. Whatever you got going, I hope it's good. Oh, it is! It's real good. Needs a new nut to hold it onto the wagon. We did it! It's fixed! And it'll stay on there, right? We don't have to use any glue or anything. Careful there, don't ever mention G-L-U-E around old Elmer. Boots him something awful. What's he got against blue?
my package. At last. Mr. Tippett, do you think we could have this old mailbox door now that you're not using it anymore? Sure. Take it and leave me to hermit in peace. Thank you. Are you ready to start? Here's a fun game. Pop the bubbles before they run into you. I'm Freddy, and this is Luther. It's nice to meet you both. My name is Luke. Boy, Luke, you must have a really big mouth. Uh, I, I mean, that didn't come out right. That's okay. I knew what you meant. And it is big. That's how come I get to be the town cabaret. Cabaret? What's that? We have plays, singing, and different kinds of acts right inside my mouth. That's neat. 
can we see? Well, the cabaret's closed right now. But sure, take a look. Hey, this is neat. It's a rope. It's a rope. Come on, Luther. Let's try this. People see out of these things. Oh, wait, there's an eye hole. I think you could use a little bit smaller hat. They make smaller ones? wit's end. These hogfish are driving me crazy. They won't eat or sleep. And they're so noisy. Where'd they get the accordion? Uh, I don't know. Did you try telling them that story about your trip to Akron? That always puts me to sleep. Oh, thanks a lot. I'm going to have to call Mr. Big again. Ooh. We got the hat unstuck from between your teeth. A little floss was all we needed. Well, that's a relief. It was driving me crazy. Can we borrow it? Sure. I'd only get it caught in my teeth again anyway. Thank you. Thanks for getting it out. You're welcome. It says, Cabaret. <coughs> Would you tell us some more about the Cabaret? Sometimes Gil Barker gets up on stage and tells traveling salesman jokes. And sometimes they're even funny, but not usually. what we need to look like wrestlers. We've got a hat like that and a bandana. Our hat is a different color though. We still need a big old wrestler belt buckle. How come you spit so much? Darn it! It's the ink! It comes up like a barrel of old pickle droppings. <laughs> hey, y'all remember when Ape got his melon stuck in the bucket of ink? <gasps> I couldn't move for anything! Come 
Burgers! <clears throat> Hello and welcome to Just Buckles! I'm Nelson Toso. How can I help you today? I'm Freddy and this is Luther. And we're helping my cousin, Calico Catfish. Rustlers took all of her hogfish. <gasps> Rustlers? Well, I wouldn't know anything about that. How much would it cost to have a custom belt buckle made? Well, seeing as how you said you're Calico's cousin and all, I do the job for free if you brought me the materials. What kind of materials will we need to bring you for a belt buckle? Well, have a look at these blueprints. If you brought me a piece of metal shaped like this for the back and a letter to go on the front, I could make you a buckle using my professional buckle-making equipment. That seems simple enough. Well, the part where I actually make the buckle requires years of training and lots of expensive tools. But you wouldn't have to worry about that. Did you see this picture? It's my son, Half Nelson. He was real cute as a baby. Don't you think? He has your forearms. Mamma mia. Mamma mia. Well, it's just something I made. It's not for sale. Can you tell me again what pieces you need to make a belt buckle? Sure! I just need a piece of metal shaped like this for the back and whatever letter you want on the front. I think these wrestler outfits look nice. We've got a hat like that, and a bandana. We still need a big old rustler belt buckle. So, all we need to make a belt buckle is that piece of metal with the round top and some kind of letter, right? That's correct! belt buckle out of this? <gasps> sure! Just bring me a letter to put on it and I'll get to work! Hey, Freddy! Can I have a piece of that gum? Sure!
My best work! All that's missing is a belt! Here you go! Thank you! Yeah, thanks, Mr. Torso! Please, call me Nelson! All I ever wanted was to be a hogfish rancher. I had no idea it would be so much work. Maybe there are some tricks to it that we don't know about. Yeah? Well, I'm going back in. Don't let any non-rustlers inside, okay? Radio! Part of my disguise. That's part of my What do you think? It might be a little big for you. But do I look like a rustler? Oh! Yes! This will make me look even more like a rustler. Thanks, Luther. I hope it fools the guard. Luther, you stay here while I try to get past the guard. Wait, I'm coming with you. Good thinking, Luther. Let's try to get past the guard. Hold it! This is a... Well, howdy, fellow wrestler. Ahem, howdy. I reckon Mr. Big must have sent you to help us out with the hogfish, right? Um... Poor Mori, he's having a terrible time with the hogfish. Well, go on in. He'll be glad to see you. Thank you. We did it! Shh! We did it! We're inside! Which way do you think the hogfish are? Well, I think I hear squealing coming from... Hey! You two aren't rustlers! What are you doing here? Um, we were just leaving. You're not going anywhere! Mr. Big will know what to do with you! Nobody knows the trouble I've seen! What do we do now? It didn't even budge. Nope, this door is definitely locked. under all these cannonballs. Phew! These are heavy! There! That does it. The missing hogfish, all right. We're not missing. We know just where we are. Maybe we can get the hogfish out through this hole. The hogfish won't fit through there, but it looks like you and I can. I 
guess we'll have to work out another way to get those hogfish out. They'll need a bigger opening. I wonder what this does. This is fun! I wonder if this will bring the anchor back up. behind this thing. You're right. I can't see it very well. The rudder's in the way. I think we have to move this rudder if we're going to get that thing out of there. way to move it. bars out. There! That hooks on pretty well.
That anchor looks really heavy. I'll bet that weighs six tons. What does that mean? That means it's really heavy. Oh. stays attached to the boat when you drop it. I don't think I need that right now. I don't think I need that right now. Done pretty well. Why is the anchor on this chain? So the anchor stays attached to the <laughs> This should free those hogfish. Luther, prepare to drop anchor. See any law? Then I suggest you turn around, real slow, like. It's Sheriff Shrimp. Yeah, and just about everybody in town, it looks like. Youngsters, that was mighty fine work apprehending these two. I'll be taking them off to jail now. You boys ought to be ashamed of yourselves. Hold on, Sheriff. There's one more person involved with the ruffling. Yeah, that's right. I'm talking to somebody called Mr. Big. You never saw his face, but he was in charge. He planned the rustling and everything. Is that so? Well, what if it is? We'll never reveal the identity of Mr. Big. Yeah, you'll never catch him. Actually, I know who Mr. Big is. He's right here in the room. <laughs> when the rustlers caught Luther and me, they called Mr. Big to Come and decide what to do with us. I suspect he was already here when you all arrived and just slipped in with the posse. Well, which one is it then? Phil, when we were at the soda loom and we found the note telling the wrestlers to meet here, you made a phone call to someone. You were talking about the note. Well, I... 
and when we got here and found the hogfish, I noticed this. What's that? It's sheep music, Sheriff. The sheep music to this little piggy, to be exact. No need to go on. It's my music. Moray was having trouble getting the hogfish to sleep, so I suggested he try singing this little piggy to them. Pat lot of good that did. Phil, does that mean that you're... you're... I'm Mr. Big. Yes. <gasps> I, I never meant to hurt anybody, you understand. It's just that I've got 17 children, and I don't make that much as a piano player. I thought Hogfish Ranching might bring in a little extra cash. Well, that's no excuse. You all ought to be ashamed. You just shouldn't take things that don't belong to you. It hurts other people, and it's just plain wrong. You're right. We're sorry. We didn't want to be rustlers. All we ever really wanted was to be hogfish ranchers. But we don't know how. Ranchers, you say? You know, I do still need some help out of my place. I'm glad that's worked out so well for everyone. Freddy, Luther, I can't thank you enough for all you've done here. The hogfish are home safe. And the rustlers is brought to justice. Yeehaw! How's their immunity service working out? That's community service, son. Oh, yeah. How's that going? I think they're coming along quite well. It's hard work, but when I'm done with them, they'll be real hogfish ranchers. Can we learn to be hogfish ranchers, too? Of course. Here, I've got something for you. Ten gallon hats! Yours is a five gallon, so it'll fit just right. Oh, boy! Now, come on, you two. I'll show you how to tie a lasso. I'll give me a home where the buffalo roam, where the deer and the antelope play.
Quit? 